I've been soldering for almost a year now with the Hakko 888D digital version and it's worked great for through hole components. It's a great little unit. The only thing is now I'm moving on to a lot of surface mount or SMD components and the reflow oven I built works great but every once in a while something doesn't reflow right and I need to uh, get some hot air for it. So I'm going to get rid of this now. <laughs> And we're getting a two-in-one -on station, which has a soldering iron and a hot air gun for uh, reflowing on surface mount components. So let me bring the camera on in, and we'll see how this thing works. Okay, this model is called the 898D+. Plus. Uh, mine is an unbranded model. Sometimes you'll find a model name here, such as Kendall, WEP, Yahua or Seiki, S-A-I-K-E. It's been rebranded re to a bunch of different brands, but it's all the same unit. Basically, you got the soldering iron side here and the hot air rework station with your fan control, and each has an individual temperature. Comes with a very, very sparse little six or seven page Chinglish manual. Uh, a little tiny pickup tool to get underneath ICs for when you're using the hot air rework. So this way once the solder is hot enough you can pull it off. Um, they give you a nice little thing of desoldering wick. You get three different tips for the end of the um, hot air gun for different diameters depending on how big of a component you're working with. And they give you 11 different tips that are actually compatible with the Hacko tips, so they are the same, and I'm going to show more about that in a second. Now, if we look at the tips, the one on the right is an actual Hacko branded tip. The one on the left is the one that came with the unit itself, and you can actually see they're both basically the same, both about the same amount of thickness. They are the almost the exact same length. The uh, off-brand one is just ever so slightly longer, but it shouldn't really matter with it at all. So they are very compatible. Now for the solder stand, pull this one out. It's basic metal. It's not plastic. Uh, I got my extra Hacko branded tips down at the bottom here for the time being. Um, you do not get a brass brush like you do with the Hacko ones off to get that separately which is really nice to have um, and they give you this little sponge which is flat in the moment but when you add water it puffs up like so so it's a little thick it'll help you clean off your tip and sits down in here a little more snug down at the bottom now as for the tips for the hot air they actually go on very easily. You got two little notches on this and you got two little notches right on the side here. You just line them up they pop right on perfectly. Now inside the soldering iron this is actually touted to be a um, Hacko compatible unit completely. And it's even got their own heating element. So just like a Hacko Triple Eight D, you unscrew it, pull the one collar off, put that down to the side, take the tip off and you can see it has the exact same heating element as a Hacko 888D. It's a ceramic one. So be careful with it, they can break. And the slides back on just as regular. Now for the actual operation of the unit, you have two power buttons. One for the soldering iron, then you have another power button for the hot air. When you turn on the power button for soldering iron, so it was preset for 300 degrees Celsius. This displays Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Automatically starts warming up. And just like the Hacko, it has a little dot in the corner here telling you if the heating element is on or off. Heats up almost as fast as a Hacko does. So let's give it a second. It's almost at 300. You can see it's starting to blink. Now it's blinking it on and off to maintain the 300 degrees Celsius on the tip. And that will be perfectly fine. 
turn on the power for the hot air. When it's sitting in its cradle, it automatically turns off and gives you the three lines. As soon as you pick it up from the cradle, it starts heating up, and we'll see inside here in a second, she'll start glowing as she warms up. I don't want to aim it directly at the camera. Also has a built-in fan into it, which I'm not sure if you can really hear. Now, it's quite plenty warm. I can't keep my hand there too long. Um, this is your fan speed control. I'm going to bring it up closer. So you have full control of it, and just like the Hakko, you also have the blinking light telling you it's giving power to the heating element in here. When you hang it up, you'll notice temperature starts dropping, fan keeps on running. Uh, if you want to cool it down faster, you can turn the fan all the way up. It will continue to run the fan to help cool down the element down to 100 degrees Celsius. Then it will give you three straight lines and fully cut off the power to the unit. So this way it's nice and cool and it won't burn you or accidentally get dropped or something. And there you go. Fan shuts off, goes back down to a standby mode with three lines. Now if you want to change the temperature, you have these up and down buttons and an enter. You'll start over here, and if you want to change the temperature of the iron, of the uh, hot air, or switch on over if I want to make the iron a little warmer. Let's bring up the 400, and it'll let you go through, then stop, and you can see it's starting to warm up. Again, if you want to bring it back down to 300, and you'll watch it start cooling down and the heating element's not on and it'll start heating again once it hits 300. So it's really easy to change the temperature either on the hot air or the um, soldering stick. Okay, I got an old video card. Let's see how good the hot air actually works. Got a big tip on here and it's set for 400 degrees Celsius. We're going to see if we can try to remove one of these little um, memory chips off of here. And there we go. Actually removed the memory chip fairly well too. Most of the balls are still good. So there you have it. For $70, you can get a half decent little hobbyist um, soldering iron slash hot air rework station. Works pretty damn good. I'm surprised. And as you can see from Taking apart the circuit board, which is still a little bit warm. There's a little tip for it. It came apart very well, considering I had a tripod in the way too. So I couldn't exactly get right on top of it to do it. Um, I suggest if, you've, if you're like me and you've never messed with hot air, get something old like this, which is trash anyway, and practice taking off the parts. Before you start messing with something that actually means something to you, it's a great way to practice. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Oh yeah, and one more thing regarding the uh, Hakko 888D soldering station. Maybe I should do a contest or a giveaway or something like that. Hmm, what should I do on YouTube? Leave a comment on that too. Maybe I'll do a contest if someone gives me a good idea. I'll give this away for free.